Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. So my wife recently gifted me the Puffco Proxy as an early birthday gift and I've been ripping this bad boy for a damn near uh, almost a week now and honestly I thought it's well worth making a video on this. It's pretty crazy to think because when this device first came out I really thought that I wasn't going to end up ever copying one of these just because of the factors of the pricing. Like I said this was an unexpected gift and after using it multiple and multiple multiple times, I can really say that this is really well worth it and I'm actually really happy that I got it as a gift because this right here is my new daily driver. I honestly use this device more than the Puffco Pro. I use it more than my regular dab rig and it's just so convenient. It's just so easy to use and I never really thought that dry hits like from a pipe like this would be so smooth. Without further ado, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a mini unboxing of the Puffco Proxy. So at a first glance, without taking too much look into it, it just seems like a regular old dry pipe, just with a little bit of a carb cap, a little bit of extra modifications added to it. But I'm telling you that it's way more than just that. This right here, to me, is literally the most perfect way to dab now. I literally take at least three to five rips per day, just because that's how much I am enjoying it. So before we get into the details of the proxy, I do want to give a special shout out to today's sponsor of the video, Exhale Wellness. As you guys know, Exhale has been a very, very long term partner on this channel, and it's because I actually use their CBD gummies at least once per night to have a good night's sleep. And I think it's just Exhale Wellness that makes a very nice full spectrum CBD that really just puts me to bed and it doesn't have me waking up at all right here though I do have their Delta 10 gummies and then right here I do have their CBD plus Delta 9 THC oil which is I believe a tincture so they have a wide variety of different types of products everything ranging from CBD to HHC even Delta 10 but as you guys know the one that I usually take the most is only the CBD mostly at nighttime to literally just help me sleep because it's been a drastic difference using these gummies. I don't really depend on these, but it is good to use them whenever I really need a very good night's sleep. So yeah, once again, big shout out to today's sponsor, Exhale Wellness, because it's companies like these that help me make the awesome content for you guys. So aside from the main device, which we're gonna get into last, let's go ahead and break down the box. So it comes inside this neat little box, and it's a perfect storage unit. After taking off this thing that's somehow stuck on there, then I have access to the main box, which inside of here is obviously going to be the main device itself. It's going to come with a couple of Q-tips, a dabbing tool. I believe it does come with the user manual, a storage case so you can keep all of your nice little hash rods in, and then it does come with a charging cable. One thing that did surprise me though was that it didn't come with a block to connect the charger, which is pretty crazy because with the amount of money that's going down when copying one of these Puffco proxies, I feel the least that they can do is just supply you with everything that you need. That means including the little box so I can connect it to a wall charger if I really needed to. Because not everybody has access to a computer like I do right here. So yeah, if I didn't already have a block to use this cable on, I would have to go get one from the store, which is a major inconvenience. But hey, it is what it is. I know they're just trying to save themselves a couple of bucks, so I'm not really complaining too much, right? This right here, like I said, is the stash pocket when you can keep your hash rosin. Personally, you guys already know I'm a hash head. I only really consume hash. I haven't really dabbed BHO in a very, very long time. And it's just because it doesn't really sit right with my body anymore and it kind of makes my stomach feel kind of queasy in a sense, all right? So solventless is the only way to go for me. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that you could probably even stuff maybe even three in there because these 710 Labs jars are a little bit on the smaller side. And I would say, yeah, 
definitely at least three in there, but two if they're bigger jars, right? And even right here on the bottom, you could probably even put a little bit more. And all of that is being held inside of this little carrying case. This is a very nice, very durable case. And I feel like they definitely built this because they know that the proxy is gonna be going on the go. I mean, for me, this is literally going with me everywhere that I go with the like two grams of rosin stored in here. And literally that's all that I'm gonna be needing. Now, the only downside that I've really been noticing so far with the proxy is the fact that the battery life doesn't really have too much duration. It probably lasts me maybe, I think I counted like 13 to 15 sessions or something around that, and then I had to recharge it. So, but the good thing is that it does recharge within an hour and a half, I believe it is. But I just wish that the battery life lasted a little bit longer. We already know that when it comes down to Puffco, they're always coming out with new versions of the original. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna be seeing probably a proxy 2.0 within the first couple of months of the next coming year. And that's something that I'm excited about because this device is perfect for me. I like everything about it, but it definitely has a little bit of tweaks that I feel like they can add on it. Just like maybe giving it some app features like the Puffco Pro has. That way I could change the temperature on it because this one only has four different settings. And I feel like I like to dial it in to my own preferred temperature. So I'm looking forward to that on the Proxy 2.0. Now, aside from the battery life, and it's the only negative thing that I could really think of because this thing when it comes down to the dry hits like I said I didn't expect it to be so smooth but I feel like it's even smoother than the peak pro which has the water filtration or even a dab rig there's just something about this that has that smoothness to it and it's obviously extra terpy because it doesn't have the water to filter anything out but I think what I like the most about this device is the fact that I don't have to worry about there being water in there, me knocking it over, getting water all over the device, all over the place, and just potentially ruining my session, right? And that's why I felt like the Puffco Pro really wasn't as convenient as really people thought it was. You still have to be very careful when using the device. That way you make sure that you're not destroying a device that runs you up to over 400 beans, right? Now with this device, obviously, I remember when I first saw the price and I was like, yo, I'm, there's no way that this is justifiable. But now that I have it in my hands and I've used it for like over a week, like I said, I definitely feel like it's well worth it just because of the fact that it's extremely easy to use. I literally just had to grab my hot tool, just put a quick little dab in and I'm ready to go. I don't have to worry about water. I don't have to worry about a carb cap, nothing like that. Everything's literally just a straight up hitter. And the dry hits from this, like I said, it gives it more terps. It is super smooth, but after that, taking that last little dab right there, I definitely feel like I can feel a little bit more of that potency in my chest. And I feel like that's because I'm getting a lot more terps. And it does give me a little bit of a sensation of cough but honestly it's still good and nonetheless like there's nothing that I can really complain other than the fact that I wish that the battery life lasted a longer I definitely feel like with the four different default settings that they're giving you on here is definitely more than enough and I don't really need to have that app feature so the only thing that I'm really looking for is a longer a battery life so yeah man that this device right here I'm definitely happy that my girl was able to get it as an early birthday gift and because bro I've been using it every day and I, I literally love this device right definitely gonna be my number one device of 2022 I don't really see there being any other device that can beat this one right here all right guys so with all that being said if you guys enjoyed today's little video please make sure to leave a fat like on this video a comment subscribe to the channel if you're new here and we'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video